Rotary polishing is the oldest method of paint polishing. It's been around for decades. But if you joined into the professional detailing market or learned how to polish in the last 10 to 15 years, you probably learned on a dual action random orbital. Completely different movement. And the rotary, the way this movement is, it's a little bit more complicated to learn, has, has a longer learning curve than other polishing methods. So on this video, we're gonna give you the to-do list on how to start your rotary skills development. So while you're learning your rotary skills, you're gonna make some mistakes. It's just part of the learning process. First thing I'm gonna to recommend to you is that you don't learn on your own car, your neighbor's car, your friend's car, your customer's car. The suggestion here is get a junkyard hood or a hood from a body shop, practice on that, and if you're gonna make mistakes, that is a safe place to do it. Kind of like my friends did with the one wing challenge. So of all the options in machine polishing, the rotary is the one that you're probably going to make some mistakes, so just plan on it. Best to get that junkyard hood or a body shop hood. The next suggestion for learning rotary for the first time is pay attention to your pad diameter. Now in the Rupa system, we have three different backing plate diameters and three different pad diameters. Best that you learn on the smallest one. And the reason for that is that this small diameter, you'll have a lot more control, a lot more comfortable feeling while you're polishing. And once you master that feel of the rotary movement, then you can progressively work up to larger diameters and you'll be doing wonderful with any of these sizes. Another suggestion for learning rotary is pay attention to the actual liquid product that you're working with in the beginning of your learning process. We recommend our rotary fine polish with our yellow medium foam pad. And this combination will give you the least amount of pad drag and the smoothest feel while you're learning this process. If you pick up a strong cutting compound first, you're going to tend to have more pad drag, fight that pad a little bit more, and it's actually best if you learn on this combo first and then work your way up to a compound like that. And while we're on this subject about what liquid product that you're polishing with, pay attention to the products that are dedicated rotary specific liquids, rotary specific compounds and polishes. In the Rupus line, we've actually labeled this for you. So you can seek out our rotary products and then you know they're specific to the rotary movement. In our system, if you use the DA products, dedicated for the dual action random orbital movement. Those are formulated a bit, bit different for that specific movement. So you really wanna seek out the formulas that we made specific for the rotary movement. So two technique oriented suggestions we have for you as you're learning rotary. One is about the tool speed and the other is about the pad angle. So regarding tool speed, it's best to actually learn the movement of this tool at the lower speed settings on the polisher. So that would be one, two, maybe three while you're getting to, to learn the movement of this tool. And then work your way up to faster speeds as you progress in your skills development. The other suggestion is to have the pad flat to the paint. And you might even see videos and other suggestions where you actually see a rotary tool with an extreme pad angle. And our Rupa system is made to work flat, as flat as you can, given the contours and curves on, you know, the cars. But that's why you downsize to a smaller diameter. But learn the rotary movement with a flat pad, master that first. And then when you have to tilt, you can do that. But it's best to get a flat pad application. You'll get the best performance and the best results. And probably, your number one fear about this whole learning the rotary thing is that you might burn an edge. So we're gonna tell you right now a little bit of a technique that can help you mitigate or minimize that risk. And it has to do with the movement of the tool itself. 
This tool will always turn in one direction. You can see by this indicator on the polisher, it will always turn in one, one direction. So when it comes to edge work, and in those areas where you're concerned about burning an edge, pay attention to the direction of the rotation and actually use a little bit of pad tilt to roll the pad off the edge on one side and leave a little bit of space between the pad and the paint surface on the other. And it really depends on your orientation to the edge that you're polishing on, but you'll get the hang of it and you'll get to practice, but just roll off the edge instead of rolling that pad into the edge, which will have the highest point of friction and heat. And that's why you practice on a test hood, because if you're gonna burn an edge, you'll wanna know what caused that, how you did it, and how to prevent it in the next time. All right, to review these basic tips to get you started on your rotary skills development, we talked about getting a junk hood and not working on a customer's car or your own car or your favorite car. Uh, get that, that hood. And then we also talked about pad diameter and starting with the smallest diameter and learning your way up to bigger diameters. We talked about which liquid product to use and our suggestion was a mild or a medium polish with our yellow foam pad. And then we also talked about tool speed, starting with the low speeds and working your way up to more speed as you develop your skills. And we also talked about pad angle. And the suggestion there was to learn how to polish flat with the rotary first. And then we also talked about these edges that everybody's afraid of the burning an edge. And we suggested rolling that pad off the one side as you tilt into any curves or contours or edge work. And now that you've got those basic starting tips, here's your challenge for homework. Uh, there's this thing called picking up a bead because priming the pad is always important regardless of what polishing system you're using. And it's also true for rotary, so priming the pad's important. However, if we just put pea-sized dots of compound and pulled the trigger, that would sling product everywhere. So what's developed is a method of priming the pad called picking up a bead. To do this picking up a bead method, you're going to lay down a small bead of product about the length of whatever pad diameter you're using. You're going to put the polisher pad to paint on the right side of that bead, tilt 45 degree angle. You're gonna pull the trigger on speed settings one or two, lowest speed possible, and you're gonna pull that pad across that bead. You're gonna lay it down in one sweeping motion, and that is called picking up a bead. You're gonna run the polisher for about 10 to 20 seconds, and that will get this pad primed. All right, hopefully these suggestions are very helpful as you learn how to use your rotary polishing, and please do try picking up the bead. Let us know in the comments if you were successful, and if you weren't, you probably slung compound everywhere and we'd love to see the pictures. Don't forget to like and subscribe and give us your questions because we love to get these comments and questions and maybe yours will be on a future episode of Rupert's Replies.